could capitalise and this could be a goal. Unbelievable start for Nepal. Absolutely marvellous. Unbelievable work from Amisha Kaki. And I predicted it. There was too much space just on the edge of the area. And the ball came back nicely for Amisha Kaki. And what a wonderful strike that was. You could just see it was the deflection there. Wide open Amisha Kaki. She just drove into the area, into the 18-yard box, and just curled that nicely, denying Graneem Abo Latif. Terrific work. Aisha. Anita. It's an in swinger. And oh my goodness me. Anita Batsnit scores from the corner for Nepal and absolutely dominating here already. Only 12 minutes into the first game of Group B. And Nepal, well, you can see the celebrations in the stands already. And it's absolutely terrific, unbelievable. You could see the whip, the curl she just got on that. Immediately she struck the ball. You could see the curl just nestling in nicely. And well, Rani Mabo Latif had absolutely no chance there. And all she could do was pretty much wave her hand at that. And Nepal make it three. An excellent work from Raneem, but it's not enough at the moment. And it is Amisha Kaki yet again. Already scoring a brace in 18 minutes in the opening game of Group B. Absolutely wonderful. Terrific, and it could even be a whitewash here tonight. Well, Nepal are currently punishing Syria. You can see excellent run there. Absolutely terrific from Amisha Kaki. Just squares it back. Lovely play. It wasn't greedy there, Amisha Kaki. It was Sabitra Bandari. And you can already see the link up play. Just the fluidity of the link up play in that attacking third. Again, another opportunity for Bandari. Bandari squares the ball across, and what a team goal for Nepal. This time it's Rekha Poodle that gets on the score sheet. Excellent work yet again. And lovely link up play there by Sabitra Bandari and Rekha Poodle. Sabitra Bandari with the run again on this left hand side. You can see as it just ricocheted off the Syrian defender. Bandari capitalised, squared the ball across and hitting it first time. Rekha Poodle found the back of the net. Excellent play. And it's Nepal for Syria 1. Lovely quick turn. Now Sabitra Bandari driving down this left-hand channel. Has a go, has a go, and oh! Bandari again for Nepal. Calm as you like, finds the back of the net. Sabitra Bandari is that injection of pace down that left-hand channel. Goalkeeper came out. Zara Ali Hussain tried to close down the angle, but it wasn't enough. And Sabitra Bandari just slotted it home. Excellent work. She scored last week in the 18th minute and she scored again here tonight. She was well on side as that ball was played through. You can just see how quickly she runs onto the ball and the composure as she strikes the ball as well. Just from the inside of her foot, just caressing the ball in nicely. Absolutely terrific stuff there from Sabitra Bandari. Well, it's Iraq nil, Nepal one. Four-one victory, absolutely marvelous. And Sabitra Bandari again, 
Oh my goodness me! The defender was caught napping, didn't look. No communication from the rest of her team and Sabitra Bandari just got on the end of that and she found the back of the net. Zara Ali has seen the goalkeeper absolutely in shock there, didn't really know what to do. Goalkeeper and defender just completely caught off guard. Doreen Mullabakar took far too long, no communication from her team, indicating that Sabritra Bandari was driving forward just to try and nick the ball off her. And well, can you believe it, in the space of two minutes, Sabitra Bandari, with her pace skill and absolute magnificent composure, scores again for Nepal. And all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, forward, lovely ball through to Pujarana. Nice touch, curls it across, and can it be, can it be? Oh my goodness me, excellent team goal there for Nepal. Pujarana on this right-hand side, just curling that ball in. And again, it is Sabitra Bandari claiming a hat-trick here tonight. Absolutely magnificent, terrific work here. And it was Pujarana just cutting in and curling the ball nicely to Bitra Bandari. And again, calm as you like, Bandari. Waited for the ball, timed her dive well, and just headed it home. And well, as we are approaching that 45th minute, another opportunity here, and it is Sabitra Bandari. Excellent save, but it is Sabitra Bandari again. She doesn't give up, she won't give up. And it's Bandari's night. Four goals for her country here this evening. And that's what it means to the supporters. What a fantastic player they have. And what a fantastic job she's doing here tonight and has done in the previous game as well. Her initial strike was saved. It was a good save from Zara Ali, but she didn't give up. Instantly up on her feet. Again, Sabitra Bandari, after the initial strike, brought down first time, but back on her feet to ensure she got the rebound. In Iraq defense, absolutely trembling at Sabitra's feet. Absolutely terrific, and it is Iraq nil, Nepal four. Pretty wry, lovely ball through Bandari. Yes, she's done it again. She's made it five. She's made it six in the tournament so far. Five here tonight. Absolutely terrific. And well, I did say a fresh pair of legs with the sub two substitutes, Chandra Bandari and also Shanath in goal. Could that be the difference? Could be that that be the boost that they needed? And well. A goal came soon after, and it was an excellent ball in as well. Lovely ball through to Pretty Rye. Pretty Rye with such a delicious ball in. The weight of the pass from Pretty Rye was literally pin perfect for Bandari. Bandari not even taking a touch, hitting it first time as she runs onto the ball, denying Zara Ali Hussain to get anywhere near that. The goalkeeper had absolutely no chance, and well, it's a rack nil. Nepal 5. I don't think that will happen. It's going to take a lot. More played over the top. There we have Bandari. She got a goal. Looks like she has finally got her goal. And what a lovely bit of play there. Ball played over the top to perfection. Bandari uses that pace. Just nicks it round the goalkeeper. And it squirms into the net. Agonisingly for the defender who just couldn't get to it, didn't have the pace. Right on the, not on the stroke of half-time, but just before half-time, with only four minutes left to play, what a perfect time to score. That means Palestine, you have to come out and you have to go for it. Let's have another look at that, what a goal number seven. There we can see, plays it back, lovely ball from Rika to over the top, she's onside, Goalkeeper comes out, tries to cut them handles off, but Bandari nips it round the goalkeeper perfectly. 
and it agonizingly rolls into the back of the net and the defender just can't get to it. Lovely left-footed pass almost into the net. There we have a goal. Oh, we've got a good bit of play. We're going to get another goal. Yes, we have a goal. Who is it? I know Bandari made it. Oh, it's Rekha Pudel. What a lovely goal that was. What a good bit of play from Nepal. Let's have a look at that a little bit more closely in the replay. In the 59th minute of play, I think that sign seals and deliver it. I think that's a, a score that's just too difficult for uh, Palestine to come back from. So we've got two substitutions. Number 17, Bimala and Sabita coming on. Let's have another look at that. It was a little bit scrappy, the play. Well, great play from Bandari. Shoots, hits the post, and it ricochets off the post and falls nicely for Rekka. Off the post there, falls nicely for... What a great bit of play from Bandari. Hits the post, off the post, falls nicely for Rekka, who makes no mistakes and made no mistakes and side foots it into the net. The score is now Palestine nil, Nepal two. Game set and match. Nepal, great bit of play there. Lovely ball for Bandana. Yes, she does it again. Can this woman cut score goals? Yes, she can. What a fantastic run. We had a ball thread through the eye of a needle. She runs onto it and she does exactly what she did for the first goal and just dinks it past the goalkeeper. What a lovely bit of play. Game, set and match. Sabrita Bandari. <laughs> What's that? Goal number eight for this tournament. Look at that. Great bit of football in there. She's well on side. Balls played through. Just goalkeeper came, comes out to narrow than angles. What a great ball from number 10 there, Rashmi. Look at that, threads that ball through the eye of a needle, perfectly weighted for Bandari to run on. Obviously a move that they have practiced in training, works to perfection. This girl is a goal-scoring machine. Applies her, her first goal of the tournament. Here we go, Gita. Let's see what you can do. What a beautiful penalty. Pick that one out of the back of the net, I would say. What a great goal. What a lovely goal. What a lovely goal from Peter. And that was uh, the goalkeeper's mistake. That's her first goal of the tournament. Gita, the defender. You can see the... Uh, Palestinian coach Nasser is not too happy. Let's have another. I mean, how cool is that? She just side foots it into the back of the net. The goalkeeper went the wrong way completely. Just kept her eye on the ball and places it beautifully. What a great penalty. Let me remind you of the score, ladies and gentlemen. Palestine nil, Nepal four. They will be playing Lebanon in the semi-final and Palestine will be playing Jordan in the semi-final. Here we go, it's another attack. It's, no, it's, <laughs> it's in. I cannot believe it. Sabrita Bandari manages to get the first goal for Nepal. Simple mistake by Amina Karim. Simple mistake, she's really beating herself up over this one. This is not the kind of game that we've been expecting to see. This is, this is totally opposite to what we were expecting today here at the semi-finals. You can see the look, Amina Kareem, absolutely gutted. She turned, she, she was there, she didn't know what... She, it, it was almost as if she didn't know which direction to kick the ball. And then Sabrita Bandari just came stole it from her 
One on one with the keeper here. Keeper stops it. Amina there, and she just comes round and right with that right foot just hooks it back into the goal. There you can see here, she just comes in, slides in, and Sabrita Bandari finally gets that goal she's been after. But this time she's using the right the right foot instead of her left foot because it <laughs> this has been some game there's some game to be commentating on today as well unexpected 76 minutes into the second half 11 and 1 Nepal 1 and Nepal high on energy now as we see there half corner kick in comes a kick What a goal! Nepal finally! Deepa Shahi! And that comes, that then seals the deal and puts an end to the Lebanon side at the WAFF tournament today. Nepal will be facing Jordan in the finals. Last minute. What a goal there! Great performance. What a goal. I can't see I can't see Lebanon coming back after that one. Lebanon have definitely not been the best uh, team on the pitch today and Nepal just too much miscommunication. What a stormer there. Great goal by Pretty Rai. She just stood back and rocketed it straight to the back of the net. What a goal. Samira with the cross. Last attack. No chance here. Hudel needs to support, has got it on this right hand side. And the ball's come all the way through his mistake. Shot here. And it's gone in, it's a wonderful finish. It's all come from a mistake from Jordan. But Nepal won't mind. That floated shot just lifted over the goalkeeper. Gave her absolutely no chance. And you have to say, Nepal deserve it. They've dominated possession. They've looked the better of the two teams in this first 28 minutes. Jordan haven't got going. see here Rekha Pudu never giving up Jordan had a chance one two chances to clear the ball they didn't and that shot it may have taken a slight deflection just looped over the goalkeeper gave her absolutely no chance see better than angle we didn't in fact but as she hit it Sabrita ran at Maga just undercut the ball and lifted it over the top of the goalkeeper Taken quickly, and there's a break on here for Nepal. And the run continues. She needs to support. Excellent for Nepal. And she scores. 2 2. It's all to play for. Calmness personified from the centre back. It was never in doubt. Calmly side-footed it into the bottom corner, giving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. The amount of pressure she must have been under. Look what it means to those fans. Just gave the keepers the eye and drilled it hard and low. When it comes to penalties, she doesn't miss. What a time to do it. What a final we've had.